Howdy, Possum Patty here and little TT too. And I have four new eight pack Crayola crayons. Come on along. Well, my four packs of crayons are the Colors of Kindness. Now, I've been looking for the eight pack since last year and I just found it. it. Took me a year to find this. This one I got at the flea market or a yard sale and it's collector's colors. And these are the colors that were retired in 1990. I don't know when it came out. Like I said, I got that at a, a flea market. And this one I got at a yard sale and it's called Totally Truckin'. There's a yard sale at the flea market. And this is a pick your pack, pick your pack, Totally Truckin'. I've never seen this anywhere in any of the stores, so I don't know when this one came out. Maybe I can do some research. And this one is Bold and Bright Construction Paper Crayons, the eight pack. Now what I am going to do today is I'm going to take the Bold and Brights and compare them to the 8-pack of Neon. So what's the difference between Neon and Bold and Bright? I don't know. It says that these are for especially formulated to create vivid color on dark paper. Use on construction paper, paper bags, and even cardboard boxes. I love the pack though. Look at the pack. See the moon and stars up there? And this one was neon crayons, bold and bright. Bold and bright. <laughs> it says these are bold and bright. And the back of this one says bold and bright. Crayola neon crayons let kids add vibrancy to their coloring when they need that extra wow. <laughs> So today I'm going to compare these two in a variety of different ways. <laughs> so let's go over to the table and get started. This is my comparison of the other packs that I have. The eight packs, the pastels, the pearl, the metallic, the glitter, the uni crayons, the Cosmic Crayons, and the Neon Crayons. And I will link that video below to where I compared all of these. So I made a new chart for my new packs. And I put in one, I put the Bold and Bright construction paper with a black strip, because I figured I'm gonna try them on black and see how they do. And then I decided to put in the black strip for the Neon Crayons. And then I was like, hmm, how would they look on a mid-tone? So I put in a blue strip for the bold and bright. I'm not worried about the neons because they're already over here. And then I'm like, well, maybe I should go ahead and do them on white because I have the neons on the white. So I moved the colors of kindness over to there and put in the bold and bright construction paper crayons on white. So I'm going to do white, black, and blue, so I have a dark and a mid-tone and a white. Okay, I've turned the book sideways and zoomed in a little bit. It still might be a little bit hard to see on the black. Now, believe it or not, I have already put in the neon colors. The first one was a laser lemon, and I've colored on here a few times, and that is as bright as I can get it. That is it right there. Not bold, not bright at all. The second one is melon. Melon. Melon like a cantaloupe melon, I guess. Here we go. Melon. And I have colored this before. I'm going over what I already colored. And if you wiggle it in the light, you can get just a little tiny hint of there's something there. It's like a waxy spot. The next one is Atomic Orange. I don't know why they give you three oranges. Atomic Tangerine. But there's three oranges. Maybe because uh, orange is a favorite neon color, right? 
but that's it. You can't ha hardly tell what color it is. And this one is outrageous orange. And like I said, I've already colored over this once. <laughs> I'm going over it again, and it's not getting any brighter. Next one is Carnation Pink. Now, Carnation Pink is, I know I'm zoomed out, it's also in the pastel pack. Now, how it can be a pastel and in the uni crayons and in the neons at the same time, I don't know. They're calling it a pastel and a neon. Is it a neon pastel? Don't know. Okay, that's that. Shocking pink. Shocking pink. Nothing there. Sky blue. Sky blue shows up very, very faintly there. You can see the waxy sheen, but there's not a lot of color. And this last one is shamrock. Shamrock. So Laser Lemon Melon Atomic Tangerine Outrageous Orange Carnation Pink Shocking Pink Sky Blue and Shamrock. These are the neon crayons and that's what they look like on black and the same colors over here Melon Shamrock Carnation Atomic Tangerine Laser Lemon Shocking Pink Outrageous orange and sky blue. That's what they look like on the white. So now comes the big reveal. How are they going to compare with the bold and bright construction paper crayons? Specially formulated. Hmm. Okay, I've already written down the colors. Now, they did not give these fancy dancy names. Okay, they just have plain names like white, yellow, orange, red. So, but they do have these black wrappers. Okay. Compared to, you know, what the crayons usually look like. Some of the specialty packs do have special papers on them. So, of course, black is not going to show up on black paper. It's going to look like a shiny, waxy spot. So, no surprise there. Let's start at the bottom and go up this time. Because shamrock green, this is green. Ooh, now look at this. All right, look what we have. I'm already liking it. I'm already liking it. So there is the green. There is the neon green, which you cannot even see. And here is the bold and bright green. Ooh, let's check out the rest. Okay, this is just says blue, no special kind of blue. Not as bright as the green, but still, compared to this blue, you can see it a little bit. You can see it more than that one. Violet. Hmm, I wonder if this will show up on black. Well, this might be good for a Halloween color when you're doing something spooky and you want purple for Halloween. And they call it violet. And you want violet for Halloween. So we have the green, the blue, and the violet. The red one comes next. This didn't even have a red. It had two pinks and three oranges, no red. You think red would be a neon color, right? Bright red. 
like a stop sign, bright red. Hmm. It shows up more than the neons, that's for sure. I'm going to see how it does at a mid-tone. Okay, we have orange. We're getting to some lighter colors now. So I thought this one might show up pretty good. Oh, and this is not construction paper. This is cardstock. I wonder if that makes a difference. Hmm. Hmm, Possum Patty. This might be smoother than construction paper. Do I have any construction paper? Hmm. I don't think I do. Okay, now, whoops. Now I'm going to have to go get a pack of construction paper and see if it runs any different on construction paper. Construction paper is softer and might have more of a tooth to hold the color. This is very smooth. But so far, so good. Okay, so now I'll, do you, you want to see white or blue? All right, since we started with black, let's go down to the mid-tone, and then we'll go to the white. So, of course, we know black is going to show up, because this is a mid-tone. No problem with that. What will the green do on this blue? Nice, looks good. Green is looking good here. How about blue? Blue on blue. Ooh, this really shows up nice. The crayon goes on very smoothly. Of course, this is smooth paper. Violet. Of course, we knew that would be bold on there, too. They look a lot different than the black paper. Next one is red. I think the blue is making the red look a little cooler, a little duller, probably, than it does on white. Orange on blue. Showing up pretty good. Yellow on blue. Will it look green? A little bit. A little bit. And white. The white is not showing up that good on this. All right, so a lot of the colors look better on the blue. And a lot of them, and some of them look better on the black. And some of them look better on the blue. So what do you think so far? Oops, keep hitting the camera. Sorry about that. All right, our last row over here. We're going to... Start with the black again. Of course, black on white. We know that's going to work. They feel kind of creamy going on. Kind of a nice, a nice feel going on. Well, we kind of have an idea that they're all going to work on the white. Except for the white. But it's nice to see green, 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 how it looks on dark, mid-tone, and white. Am I in frame? Yep, 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 yep. Okay, the blue. Nice 
nice blue, violet, I'm trying not to press too hard. Sort of like medium pressure. The red, excuse my bird clock. It likes to sing when I'm talking. Just a plain red and a plain orange. And a plain yellow. Of course, the yellow kind of looks better on um, the black. I mean, it's nice and bright, but shows up good on the black. And of course, we know white's not going to show up, but we'll put some on there anyway. It'll make a little waxy spot. So there we have it. We have it on. I'm going to pull back out a little bit. Hang on. Oops, wrong way. Back, 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 back. Okay. There we go. So you can see them all together. Black, mid-tone, and white. Compared to the neons. Well, definitely, definitely, in my opinion... If you want to work on a dark paper, skip the neons and go straight for the bold and bright construction paper crayons because they do work. I mean, I know some of them look dark on the black, but I mean, you still can see the color. You still can see the color, so I mean, they do work. The blue gives it kind of a funky background, but the green and some of these colors do look nice on the blue. And of course the white, they just look like the regular colors. All right, so I'm going to end this video right now and set up uh, the video for the other three packs of crayons that I bought. So thanks for coming along today while I compare the neon crayons to the bold and bright crayons and definitely this is the one you want for dark paper. Stay tuned for part two. Bye-bye now.